hundred years before the birth of Christ, the small kingdom of Nefer on the Persian Gulf was forced to pay heavy tribute to its conqueror, Babylon. The people of Nefer trembled with outrage and fear as the soldiers came to collect the yearly price, 30 of the loveliest young virgins in the land. Those who took my daughter, I curse Babylon. like to be here if I were you. They'll bring reinforcements. Aren't you scared? Not at all. This time they'll get you. Don't say I didn't warn you. <laughs> <laughs> Find me here when they come back. <laughs> come outside with me quickly. There's a friend in danger. <laughs> Tell me all about it. He must be a shrimp like you, huh? He's built the same, but he's taller. <laughs> mm. Is this the man who hit you? He's the one! He's the one! That's the man who attacked me! Yes, I'm the one you're looking for. 
Are you going to try to arrest me? Hmm? Take him away! Oh, come now. There's no need to get angry. Seize him! He doesn't need to be helped at all. It's the army that's in real danger. We could use a fighter like him. Then let's go! What is this? We're your friends. Put me down or I'll pull you both off your horses. Then we'd all be caught. <laughs> others. I will have no part of your work here. The men whom you disparage, they are patriotic. They pretend they are gladiators in order to be trained and not arouse anybody's suspicion. They train so that they can overthrow our present ruler. A conspiracy. You've made a mistake by turning to me. Don't you know what's happening? Haven't you heard about it? I've been away a long time. A very weak excuse. Then why risk your life for that girl's release? That's a silly question. I was sorry for her. She was trapped like an animal. And the others, what were they? Which others? Oh, come now. Don't tell me you haven't heard anything about this. No. So you say. I said I haven't. Control your temper, my friend. Calm down. I believe what you say, Goliath. The guards must have sent you to us. You can help. By the terms of our peace treaty, 30 virgins, must be delivered every year to the king of Babylon. You can imagine what their fate is. Enslavement? Much worse. To please King Kalfas, they put the girls to death. Why have you allowed this? Why doesn't someone rebel? We couldn't, but we're preparing. And the king, why doesn't he do something about it? Four years ago, we waged a great battle against the Babylonians. When it was over, our king was murdered. His older brother, Pergaso, arranged the unjust armistice. And he rules here. And to Pergaso, it doesn't matter how everyone has to suffer. Why? Because he likes the crown on his head. He can't endanger his life and the throne. Why fight a war over slave girls? But the king, the one who died, didn't he have a daughter? Princess Rezia. Yes, Rezia. But our law states Princess Rezia cannot reign without a husband. Who knows when a marriage will take place? None of us is willing to idly stand around waiting for that. And so we've pledged that Babylon never again will get any shipments from us of slave girls. Well, will you join us? How many are you? We are 41. From this moment on, 42. Wait, that's not right. 42 and a half. <laughs> All right, we'll make you our mascot. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. I think your king should be pleased with them. Again, we are fulfilling the terms of our peace treaty. You're paying what you have to pay us. All right, kid. Don't you think these virgins are worthy of the king of Babylon? You won't find more lovely slaves anywhere in the world. Look. You took my daughter! <laughs> I kill you! Why 
did you try to kill me? Oh, no. Not you. That's the man I want to kill. You took my daughter, Morakev. Hold your tongue. Uh, Curse away. on you and all of Babylon. May you burn forever. May Babylon become a city of flames. The man will pay, Morakev. Believe me. <laughs> Go by, Pergasso. But I'm sure our battles are only a memory. I blame your people. They're beginning to forget the reason for having to pay tribute to our king every year. No, we have a peace treaty and we'll keep it. The sacred trireme will be here within two days. Let there be no more such incidents while the girls are being taken onto the ship. Have no fear. The people won't even know it's happening. The girls will board the ship while the citizens of Nefer are gathered in the arena. Everybody will be there. The spring races are going on. It's so important everyone's there. The stake is important. Whoever can win the race and defeat my niece, you see, earns the right to marry Rezia, as well as to sit on the throne. It would mean the end of my reign. I'd abdicate. And Princess Rezia, it's possible that she'd like to reign, isn't it? <laughs> she is not a fool. My niece would never deliberately lose that race. I hope not for your sake. Stay a little longer. No. I'm lady in waiting to Rezia. I can't. How can you stand being the princess? It happens that she's also a friend. I know. I still don't approve. Must you talk like that? You know so little about the princess. I've heard much talk about her. You believe that kind of talk? You shouldn't judge other Sandros before you meet them. Be fair to Rezia. Any girl who decides to rely on the outcome of a race to select the man she'll live with the rest of her life is just stupid. Those terms were imposed by our king. It's Pergasso's will that Rezia and the winner marry. And yet she agrees to this condition? Then she's no better than King Pergasso himself, and I can't help thinking less of her as a result of that. Sandros. It's been unbearable thinking you live in the castle with her. Besides, Rezio, come, come between us. I know it. Come, Santos. You can't mean that. I'm afraid it can happen, but I promise not to reveal it. I have a feeling it'll affect us both. Only let's not think about it tonight. No. Let's only think about love. <laughs> Hey, you, what are you doing on board? Hide me. I'm being chased. The army's searching the whole area. The army? What have you done? In great trouble. No, no, not I'll here. You later. Not here. Please, Get you off. must hide me. No, I'll give I you don't money. I want you to hide here. Pay Get for money. Here. Here. You! Did you see a man running this way? Uh. Well, answer me! What? Did a man board this ship? Oh, no. Nobody's on the ship. Get below. Get out of here. Come, men. We'll search the ship. Look very anything carefully. Happened? Is there anything wrong? I suspect you're hiding a man. There's no one here. Search if you like. Ah, search everywhere. You believe no. me? No. Huh? We'll have to make sure for ourselves. Go on, Andre. Ah, ah, there you see. Nobody on board. But he's a stranger to me. He crept on board when I wasn't looking. That's what he did. I'm innocent. I swear it to you on my own ashes. I'm innocent. I swear it to you. Arrest this uh, merchant and all of his crew but, as well. But no, wait. I'm innocent. I have nothing to do with it. You know, <laughs> We've pledged our lives to see that no more of our young girls are enslaved to the King of Babylon. It's all up to you. The sacred trireme must be attacked before it reaches here. It'll never arrive. 
It will be at the bottom of the sea. Let's leave the ship, Santos. I'll go too. No. You'll be needed here. The chariot race, remember? Yes, Andros, you can't miss that. It's too important. But I could go, Andros. I wish you victory and safe return. It's time to get underway. To the oars. All right, let's move quickly. your time with those cucumbers. What are they for, Nanito? They're just in case. If the vessel goes down, I stay up. The sacred tririm. Ship approaching off the starboard bow. Look out on the ship off starboard bow. Oh God, she is. They're closing fast. Venetian, I'd say. Be ready for battle. As soon as they're within range, we must turn to them broadside. Track and speed to one half. Or cut down to half forward speed. Lowers increase our speed at once. Boarding party, stand by. As they come alongside, give them the boiling oil. Prepare the braziers. Our turns, man, your station. Soldiers, stand by to repulse them. Stand by to repulse boarding parties. Wait, wait, wait for me. Ready to fight? Right beside you. Ready to board them!
I'll do all I can to win it. I must offer a stake, but I have no wealth. My life is the stake I'm going to offer. You'll marry Rezia and reign as king? Yes, I will, if I win. I'm sorry, Kalima. I must do it for the good of the people. I know you must, my darling. You must do what you feel is your duty, but you'll always live in my heart. Careful, man. That's it. You two, guard the boats. The rest of you, let's go. Hurry. Come on, Ernesto, jump! <laughs> In over your head, eh? <laughs> Almost drowned, eh? <laughs> Come on, Only let's go. Only a little. <laughs> well, I see you're all here. Except for a few injured. We made it. I hope we have as good luck in the arena. Oh, no fear with Santos. I saw him win at Olympia. But where's Andros now? I'd say he's with a woman. A day before the race? Don't worry, he'll be here shortly. I wouldn't be so sure. You don't know women like I do. I mean it. <laughs> We'd better rescue him from that woman's arm. I know just where to find him. Come, Goliath. We'll go to him together. You're in command, Lanetto. <laughs>
Sandros. Are you badly hurt? It's all right. The sacred trireme has not been sighted. Even the ship we sent out to escort it in has failed to find a trace. When you have any further news, report to me. Go now. Messenger, has there been a storm? No. Pergasso, explain this delay. I can't explain it. And explain the attempt on my life, can you? A maniac. I have my spies. There's trouble here, they say. They've been trying to find out just who's behind all of it. I'm anxious to inspect their report. It better not implicate you. Do you hear, Pergasso? But if it does, you'll learn. The last defeat's a pale image of what you'll suffer if we ever have to attack you again. Pay heed! If you break our peace treaty, beware, Pergasso! You'll suffer. Not a house in the city will remain after our army's been here again. Those of you who escape death will be brought to Babylon in chains. Your people will become slaves. How dare you speak of that? Don't forget, Morakep, you're talk to a king. Royalty is to be honored and respected. By making threats, you accomplish nothing. Your commanding tone pleases me, Rezia. No man can defeat you in the race. It reassures me to know that you retain that ability. You'll win once again. Perfect. Your uncle, Pergasso, then can't lose the crown. You happen to be right, Morakep. When I lose to a rival charioteer, he becomes king. Pergasso, I have some information. You'll excuse us, Morakep. Pergasso. Take heed to what I said. It's a miracle I wasn't killed. He just strangled me. You're a pair of idiots. My command was to kill Zandros. I tried, Highness. He's been injured. He should have been killed. Take him to the land. This one stays. The rest of you leave. You deserve to die, but you might be useful. Continue to spy on Rezia as you have up till now. Thank you, my king. Nothing will come of Rezia's love for this Zandros. He's deceiving her, your highness. He's no better than a commoner. That commoner will be in the race. He'll be driving a quadriga. Should Rezia plan to let Zandros win, your highness, I'd say the gods have confused her mind, then. Or her heart. It's easy to confound a woman's heart. You look quite worried, Pergasso. If it's true, then it's your concern, isn't it? As long as I can rule, my country and your Babylon are friends. It's not this chariot race that bothers me. The sacred trireme hasn't reached the port yet. It will arrive, I assure you of that. I hope so for your sake. he won't have a chance to win the race against you. Don't worry, he will race.
no use, Andros. You can't race today. It's out of the question with that. But I must race. I say you can't. One contestant isn't here. Yes, a certain Zandros. Too bad. Do we have to wait any longer? Why don't you have the race begin? It's not Zandros. That's all the better for me. But who is this? Who are you? My name is Goliath. Are you fully aware of the terms of the race? If you plan to replace Zandros, you'll have to tell me what stakes you will give if you lose. Only one. Like Zandros, life itself. defeated me, Goliath, and I'm yours. Now I must marry you, according to the laws of Nefer. Gods have seen fit to punish me. I must bow to it. Careful with him.
He swallowed water. Hey, look, look at this wound. He's a pirate, you can be sure. Maybe we'd better report him to the army. They might give us a reward for him. They might, yes. Don't you realize what can happen to all of us here? Who is this man, Goliath? Only an ignorant, untutored peasant, Your Highness, without any of your ability. Today, Goliath is the idol of Nefer. Today, everyone talks of his victory, Your Highness. They're praising him throughout the city. Well, now that he's had his victory in the arena, what's this Goliath up to? This Goliath hopes to release all the slave girls. He intends to cancel our agreement with Babylon. But if he does that, Babylon will attack. But if the people want to terminate our peace treaty and they don't seem to be afraid of risking attack... Are you concerned with the wants of the people? You surely know decisions of state belong to our king. Well... For the sake of the throne, I'll think of some clever way to get rid of You understand, Goliath. I was furious at losing, humiliated. Your words didn't hurt me, Rezia. I realize I'm not the right man for you. Then why did you race today? I know. You're a gladiator like Evandro and Zandros. Conspirators, that's what you are. Conspirators? What do you mean? You may trust. When you succeed in removing King Pegaso from the throne, I hope you'll give us a king who's good. Is that why you sent your henchmen to attack Zandros? What? What are you talking about? We arrived in time to save him from your henchmen. You couldn't mean what you just said. I had nothing to do with it. I'm telling the truth. You didn't know, I'm sure. I want to marry Zandros. You? Yes, me. There's a name he knows me by. Kalima. Kalima. It's a name he'll recognize. Will you tell him to meet me? You're wanted in the council room. Your victory in the arena has earned you the right to voice an opinion within this council. First, how much loyalty have you to Nefer? Enough. Then let us hear the names of every one of the conspirators who committed an act of treason. A crime which threatens to compromise the relations between Nefer and Babylon. A friendship which we cannot afford to have broken because of its benefits to all of us. Friendship with Babylon is a friendship upon which rests the very life of our city. A friendship based on fear and blood which our people are forced to accept but which they now reject. Then is it for this reason that you and the other conspirators organized a raid in order to sink the ship known as the Sacred Trirem? Of what are you accusing me, Menaeus? As far as I know, the sea doesn't speak. You, you're the one. I recognize you. He attacked the Trirem. He led the pirates who sank it. Arrest him to the dungeon. Only one man, and you let him make idiots of you! Finally, I succeeded in getting away from them. But Pegaso's soldiers are looking everywhere for us. They know about our plans. To free the girls, we have to act before they do. We haven't much time. We must act now. You're right, Goliath. I knew something like this had happened. The men are all ready. We must hurry. How do you plan to get to the tunnel under the prison? I prepare for that. The citizens will attack the same time we do. Come on, let's go. I also.
also saw Rezzi and spoke to her. I'm not interested. But she didn't send the henchman. She knew nothing about it. She seemed sincere. She's not at all sincere. But you haven't understood what I said. She loves you. She wants to see you. She told me a name, but I can't remember it right now. Kalima? Yes, Kalima. Don't miss a corner. What was that? Andros. And what is your name, dearest? Forgive me. I worried you might love me for being a princess. Ambition would do that. I wanted to be sure you'd save my country. I know now I needn't have worried. I must go, Rezia. Wish me luck. Yes, Andros, go. And fight well, only come back to me, dearest. I will. I'll come back. You'll see. have reached the underground dungeons. They're fighting in the corridors. There are hundreds of our people rioting. They should be taught a lesson. Curse Goliath. Hold them off, you hear? If the people join the gladiators and they start a rebellion tonight, that could easily mean the end of me. Call out the royal guard. If you block all the exits, you can trap them. We can kill them all, then. <laughs>
They're trapped. The flames could choke the corridors and trap us. Make sure everybody's out. Demanco! Demanco, I have good news. The people are with us. They'll battle by our side. Let's take the palace. Let's go. Abandon all the dungeons! you who accuses me, Goliath. Not I. This blood accuses you. He'll not escape the people's justice. Leave him alone. Keep out of it. Promised me a reward. So I did. You'll get what you deserve. I know I was there. You shouldn't doubt me. By peeking out, I could see her clearly. A prisoner. I stayed till they moved down the road. You're sure of this? Yes, certainly I am, sir. The commander was Morakel. I pray that Resia's alive. If she isn't alive, I... Courage, Zandros. They wouldn't have her killed. They've nothing to gain by it. I know you're trying to console me, but I've been told how much they feared her. Rezia had courage. 
the life. Zandros, if there's any hope of saving her, we'll do it. This I promise. It's very clear what we have to do. We must destroy Babylon before Morakeb can send his armies here so that he can destroy Nefer. Now, to stop them, I have a plan. A daring, a desperate one. If you approve the plan, then I will need several men. And one. One of them is sure to face certain death. You can count on me. Ambassadors of Nefer, I trust that you have not come here to Babylon with lies in your hearts. Why are you in King Kaufers of Babylon's palace? We here represent the men who now govern Nefer. They implore your clemency and your pardon. Not a single rebel got out of the underground dungeons of Nefer alive. What happened to the girls they sent? They should have all been here by now. King Kafas is right. They should have been here by today, and they're not. Where are they? All the girls were killed by rebels, Your Excellence. Our men couldn't stop it. Our ship is gone also. They set fire to our sacred trireme. That's true. No punishment could be too severe for us. So send your army to Nefer. We'll pay heavily for what we did. You can burn down our houses, destroy our city. You can put our men in chains. There'll be nothing that you'll gain if you ruthlessly attempt punishing Nefer for the rebels' crimes. We'll send you slaves to build a new sacred trireme. You can have a hundred slave girls as well, our most beautiful. And grain, too. More than you can eat in ten years. Loyalty. Loyalty is the price I demand. I don't want tribute. Here. Here is your true enemy, Goliath. This man committed the things for which you accused us. He's your criminal. Your Excellence. We brought him here so you can see our allegiance is still with Babylon. Goliath. He's going to pay well. one thing worse than physical pain. And that's waiting to be killed. Yes, he might suffer badly waiting for the mortal blow. Or he might be lucky and receive it from the first spear. You may be the first. I'm giving you the honor.
Your turn. No luck. <laughs> you see, it might be the last spear, Goliath, that will release you from your agony. Continue, God. The waiting no longer amuses me. Come with me, all of you. It's not your destiny to die yet. Sometime soon, however, you'll face a death far worse than this. <laughs> they committed. That's true. But if we can dictate our conditions, we shouldn't have to send our army against them. You're right. A big expedition against Nefer would mean part of our troops would have to be recalled. And I would like to avoid having to do that. Since they're already in the field against Shardana and Taven. The cowardice of Nefer contributes to your greatness as well as to your riches. <laughs> You'll have to pay up now. I've had enough. Wait a minute. Let me have three more tries. Maybe I can make up what I lost. All right, three more. But after that, you pay. <laughs> you see, I won again. Not yet. I still have two more chances. I'll win it. <laughs> <laughs> and again I win. <laughs> You're too lucky for your own. It isn't luck, it's how well I play. Come on. Please cooperate. Go on, please. Keep still and please cooperate with me. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you! <laughs>
He'll be here to free you soon. Come with me tomorrow night, and I'll let you taste the finest wine in all of Babylon. Very well, I will. There's no better man than Goliath. No one can compare to him. He was able to break out whenever he liked. His great strength has no limit. But he chose to face it. Truly, Goliath is a man of great bravery. How can you think we'll succeed? Ivandro and the others are lost. There hasn't been any word. They're skeletons, sun-bleached skeletons in the Gore Desert. And what have they done with Rezia? By now, I know they must have killed her. They must have. Why are we waiting around here doing nothing? Calm yourselves, Andros. Has our friend sacrificed no meaning? Begin the fighting tonight and be captured. We must act only at the proper moment, as we were ordered. And you'll obey that. No, I can't do it. Are we men or a pack of women? I'm tired of being idle. I'd rather be killed trying, Arkeo. Okay don't be in such a hurry, Zandros. We're all going to have a good chance of being killed. I'm glad to see you back, Nameto. What news have you brought us? Well, I saw Princess Rezia. She's alive? She's still alive? Yes, so calm down. They put her in the prison. Any other news, Nanetto? Let go. Nobody suspects that our army's on its way here to Babylon. Is Rezia well? Yes, she's in a cell underneath the king's castle. I spoke to her. I told her we would rescue her. How can we? Standing around like this, with Ivandro and all of our men dead somewhere? They'll arrive, I assure you. The army of Nefer has already invaded our territory. I want to know why our army didn't stop them from landing. Why weren't they prevented from that landing? Blockaded! Highness, they couldn't be. They traveled across the desert of Gur. Impossible. Yes, we also thought it was impossible. Your Highness, when they attacked us during the night, my men were too surprised to act then. They were slaughtered. Some didn't even know what was going on. Their cavalry killed hundreds of us with their lances. Anyone who tried to sound the alarm was put to death. Nearly all of our men have died. Can you tell me why you were murdered with your men? Have this man executed! Trust me, Elkeo. I'm showing the way. I'm giving the orders. Yes, all right. <laughs> Follow along this passage. Come on, put me down. This will lead us to Princess Rezia. Watch your heads. Through there. Boom. It's your own clumsy fault. 
Didn't you hear me say, watch your head? Which way? To the right. Wait, someone's coming. Run, 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 run! 
Reaper at the gates, Corpus. They'll take the city. The gods have abandoned us. <laughs> our city be destroyed in fire. Then let me die among the ashes. Nobly put, Excellence. Deserving of a king. <laughs> it's our last chance to get away. is victorious, my Princess Rezia. Now my husband and I will reign together. You, Ivandro, I select as our counselor. It's one of the rewards you've justly earned. I didn't expect a reward. Thank you, my princess. And you, Goliath, thank you. Thank you for my people, as well as myself. You fought with great courage. You are the one that the people have chosen. For you, the people fought with courage. Where's Nanetto? The last time I saw him was in the catacombs. But then he disappeared. I wonder where he is. I'm here. What have you got there? <laughs> Never mind. No. I'm not permitting his secrets. Let me take a look. Hey, get your hands off. Sorry. This way, my dear. Princess Rezia, I'd like to present my wife. Oh, yes? She's lovely. Indeed. Very pretty. You ought to be congratulated, Nanetta. I'm warning you. This is my wife I've got here. Be careful. No <laughs> flirting. You know how strong I am. 